Okay, so let's solve this problem under the mechanics of deformable bodies or strength of materials. So a steel bar carries an ore bucket with W hanging at its lower end. Given so bar diameter 12 millimeters, length 18 meters, um steel modulus of elasticity, um 200 GPA, then a click weight of the bar. So number one, calculate the weight W that can be safely carried so as not to exceed the allowable steel tensile stress of 138 megapascals. Okay, so, bawa solve is, kailangan natin i-illustrate muna. So, ano yun? Steel bar daw, carries an or bucket of weight W hanging at its lower edge. So, parang ito siya. So, the steel bar. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, um, meron siyang ito may bucket yan. So, sabihin natin ito. So, weight niya is W. Okay, so may bar diameter na 12 millimeters. So, yan, steel bar siya. So, this is, D is equal to 12 millimeters. Then, may length na 18 meters. So, yung length niya is 18 meters. So, L is equal to 18 meters. Then, ayan, modulo sa elasticity. So, syempre, E is equal to 100 GPA. Okay, so number one is calculate the weight W that can be safely carried so as to exceed allowable tensile stress of 138 megapascals. Okay, so solve natin number one. So sabi dito, ang tensile stress is 138 megapascals. So this is 138 megapascals. So ano ng formula sa actual stress? So stress is equal to yung ating force over the area diba? so hinahanap is yung with W so yung force natin na yan yung pin niyan is yan na yung W so magiging um, P is equal to tensile stress times area okay so alam naman natin diba na ang tensile stress yung megapascals na to ayan diba is in newtons per millimeter squared tapos ang um, ating uh, dimension is naka sorry millimeter to naka millimeter din so magiging newton yung sagot natin dito so our stress is 138 newtons per millimeter squared sulat ko na ng unit times area so anong area ng cross sectional area nito this is pi over 4 times yung diameter natin squared diba so, makukuha na natin na yung P or yung W is equal to calculator 38 times pi over 4 4 times 12 squared So, ito. Sagot natin is 15,607 newtons or in kilonewtons this is 15.6 kilonewtons Okay. Dali lang ah. Oops, sorry. So number 2. Question sa number 2 is calculate the weight W that can be safely applied so as not to exceed the allowable elongation. So elongation mayroon siyang deformation. So ano nang formula natin diyan, di ba? So deformation, yung actual deformation is equal to PL over AE. Okay? So, hinahanap is yung weight P. Sorry. So, yung P na yan, I mean yung W or yung P na nga, diba? So, i-rewrite na natin to in terms of P. So, magiging P is equal to deformation times area is modulus of elasticity all over L. Okay. So, deformation natin is 10 millimeters. So, 10, uh, that para para yung unit, so millimeters yan times area. So, ang area natin is pi over 4 times 12 squared. So, sanayin nyo lagi na naka ano tayo. I mean, yan yung exact. Then, yung modulus of elasticity natin, since this is 200 GPA, GPA pag i-convert natin siya sa megapascals, magiging 200 times 10 raised to 3. Or 200,000, di ba? 200,000 
megapascals. So times 200 times 10 raised to 3. So may length tayo. Ano yung length natin? This is 18 meters or kung millimeters. Ta times lang natin sa 1000 or times 10 raised to 3. So ikakalculator lang natin. Yung P natin or yung W. P or yung W is equal to 10 times pi over 4 times 12 squared times 200 times 10 raised to 3 divide ko ng 18,000 so ang makukuha natin is ito 12,566 newtons or in kilonewtons this is 12.566 kung naka 2 decimal siya Let's say sa pagpipilian is dalawa. Ang 12.56 kN or 12.57 kN. So ano ang tamang sagot dito? Pag sinabi mong ito yung sagot kasi era round up, di ba? Round up 'yan, mali. Tamang sagot is ito. Yan. Bakit 'yan yung tamang sagot? Error round down siya kasi kung ang kinuha natin is niround up natin siya sa raise to 7, pag in natin dito yung force na ganun kalakas, sobra na yung deformation niya sa 10 kasi doon siya not exceed lang daw sa 10. Kapag 12.57 yan, magiging 10 point something na yan siya. So, sobra na. So, natry nyo sa calculator ganun. So, pag ganyan, lagi natin i-round down kahit 12.569 pa yan, 56 yung magiging sagot. So, ganyan siya. Okay, so number 3. So last question is, calculate the total strain if the applied load is W is equal to 20 kN. Okay, so alam naman natin, di ba, formula sa strain. Strain is equal to the deformation over the total length or original length. So ito, meron na tayo, di ba, um, deformation is equal to PL over AE. So, kung i-divide natin each side by L, magiging deformation over L is equal to P over AE. So, ayun, papalitan lang natin. Since ito, di ba, equal dito sa strain. So, magiging strain is equal to P over AE. So, ayun. Substitute natin yung values. Ang P natin is 20 kN or in newtons, this is 20 times 10 raised to 3. Then, area natin, ayun nga, pi over 4 times 12 squared times the modulus of elasticity, 200 times 10 raised to 3. So, strain is equal to 2 times 10 raised to 3, 20 times pi over 4 times 12 squared times 200 times 10 raised to 3. So, ayun, nagkakalculator ako. So, ayun, so, ang makukuha natin is... 0.00088 So, this is the strain. So, ayan lang. Ganyan lang po siya kadali. And subscribe na po kayo sa channel and hit the notification bell para mag-updated kayo sa um, engineering problems natin.